We're here at AQS Quilt Week in Virginia Beach, and I'm here with John Trundle from Herndon, Virginia. Virginia. Yes, Herndon, Virginia. He's another one of our Virginia quilters who entered our contest. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about your quilt. First of all, let's talk about the first. This is obviously this is the first entry in yes. a Virginia Beach contest, so you haven't entered any AQS shows nope, before. Nope, first AQS. Okay, and well, so you know, most people think they're a winner if they just get juried in I because definitely do. the competition can be really tough. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, so let's talk about your quilt because you said this was your son a mm -hmm. from a picture of your son. Yes. So tell me how you made it and what you did. Okay, well, first off, the, the initial inspiration came from actually the background fabric, which is the Hoffman, I believe, radial ombre. Right. And, um, and it's perfect for this background. Well, when I saw it, I said, well, that's, that's an underwater scene. I've done enough diving <laughs> in, in my youth that I, I recognize an underwater shot. And it took me two seconds to decide I wanted to do something with it. And I said, wait a minute, I've got a shot of my son diving off of Oahu and uh, probably 50 feet down free diving and uh, pulled out the photo and looked at it. Oh, double hookah. Oh, you, or perfect, ch right? <laughs> no, chaka actually, it's called a chaka. And I said, well, you know, chaka means everything's okay. Hang loose, everything's mm -hmm. fine. I said, mm -hmm. well, maybe everything isn't quite so fine and he doesn't know it. Hence Bruce. The shark. <laughs> the shark. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. And so what technique did you use to put this together? Uh, mostly fusible applique. Um, the shark was fused, or yeah, applique directly onto the background. Mm -hmm. Then the, the whole uh, sheet was uh, quilted. Uh, Sean was applique onto a separate piece of fabric. And uh, when I finished that, uh, with a layer of uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a layer of batting in between okay. him and the rest of the quilt, um, applique him directly to the quilt. And then a little paint touch up and a couple other small touches. And I like love a, that you used vinyl to make the windows in the mm. uh, glasses. Thank you. Yes. And yeah, and as so I said, the final touch, of course, was putting the tie for his shorts <laughs> because we don't want those falling down. That's right. Now, what I just find really fun about this is how you have made the shark so subdued. Mm -hmm. The use of your color up here is is perfect. Just kind of have him be there, but I, not be there. That was my intent. I wanted him to appear as far back in the scene um, because the, rather than have him dominate the entire quilt to demonstrate how large he is, uh -huh. If you shove him way back, um, that means, wait a minute, if I can see him this big and he's that far back, yeah. he's huge. He's still big, right? And uh, <laughs> so I did a couple things with uh, basically applying, well, first off, took the original image, um, changed the proportions on it so he was thicker um, to make him look bigger because yes. sharks tend to grow that way. Sure. And then did a rate, um, a, yeah, gradual or gradient. Yeah, the gradation across gradation with your Gradation across colors. them to make them darker. As, yes. And then actually, um, when I'm still in the, in the planning stages, took an image of this background and also in, uh, applied it on top of the original gradation. So it took on some of that more modeled effect and then did all the, app, you know, the, the fusing and application. Now this begs to ask the question, has he ever been diving and seen a shark? I, um, this type, I'm not sure. He's uh, been diving off of, uh, off of Ensenada, or not Ensenada, but um, oh, Cancun, that area, uh, with whale sharks. Okay. A different, different animal entirely. Sure. One of the biggest, cre biggest living creature, and, but they're docile. Well, it's a fun quilt, and thank you so much for thank entering you. it in our contest here. And who knows, you know, sometimes there are people who enter for the first time and they win. And so maybe, maybe. next time you'll be lucky. Maybe. Yes. So. And so we hope that you'll enter your quilts in the AQS Quilt Contest. Go to quiltweek.com and just click on the contest button for the 2019 rules. And we hope we'll see you and your quilts at an AQS Quilt Week soon.